Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to the second episode of the Cyclopean Foundation's campaign playthrough. And this is a fan-made campaign by The Beard. And I will give a spoiler warning. So there will be a spoiler, a story spoilers throughout the playthrough. So be warned. I will be reading all the uh, plot text and the story text that comes in this scenario. So, if you are planning on playing this and don't want to see, maybe check this video out later. But if you just want to see uh, the scenario played out, welcome and stay on board. So, uh, this is the second scenario of the campaign. Last scenario, uh, we got three experience. So, first off, let's hop over to ArkhamCDB.com and quickly see what upgrades I did to the deck. Okay, so... We are over on ArkhamCDB.com and uh, not many changes to the deck. I added one experience to Grizzled. I took Specialist and took Paradox. So we have Hazard, Humanoid and Paradox on the traits that trigger the bonus willpower icons. Then the last two remaining experience I used to upgrade one of my copies of Dr. William T. Melson to uh, experience 2. So those were all the upgrades I did to the deck, so not much to talk about here, so let's hop back over to the scenario. We are set up here, but we have some story text to read before we start, so let's get into it. So, the scenario 2, going twice. If the Obanians have laid their hands on the expedition cargo, they have that they are surely aware of its worth. Any loot of high enough value will be stored somewhere secure but accessible alongside other valuable items that the thieves intend to fence. Moreover, the amount of and variety of the stolen artifacts would make a finding a <coughs> single bio nigh impossible. The most likely conclusion is that the Obanians will sell the artifacts piecemeal to collectors who know not to ask questions. The one situation where these threats come together is a black market auction run by the gangsters. To make the usual trade of dollar, dollars from rumors to Lee, learn about where such an auction is being held and head back to your home to prepare. Having spent the early evening of the wayfront, you arrive fashionably late to the event. A few other finely dressed latecomers file alongside you toward the Obanion's cover business, a private art gallery. Two hulking mobsters stand in at the entrance, sizing you up as you approach. The thoughts occur that they likely won't let you inside with any weapons. The question now is how to proceed. Well, as we don't have any weapons in our deck, it is an easy uh, choice, so best not to arouse suspicions. We'll surrender our weapons. Remember that you cooperated with the Albanians. And if we had weapons, we would put them underneath this... Uh, a private lobby where we start the game but we don't have any so we don't have to put anything underneath there okay cover charge now inside the auction house your task truly begins the Albanians are watching the crowds carefully so you have to maintain an alibi bidding on some of these items up for auction should convince them first if there is no auction lot next to the agenda deck draw the top card of the auction deck and put it into play next to the agenda deck. If you cannot, because the auction deck is empty, advance this agenda immediately. And it has a doom threshold of 3. Private access. The, strain, uh, the storage for the gang stolen goods must be further inside. <coughs> but secu security is tight, and as expected, there's got to be some way to discreetly clear the door of the gangster standing guard. Objective only investigators at the auction hall can spend the requisite number of clues to advance. And uh, we have private lobby here. It has two strat one clue. There is a resign and there is some text I'll read in a moment. Then we have the display room, smoking lobby with this uh, story asset in play, earning wickers. Then we have the auction hall and we have the service corridor. And investigators cannot enter the service corridor, so I'll just flip that connection over. So we have the private lobby. Uh, if the investigators cooperated with the Obanians, 
Private Lobby Games, Action Test, uh, Intellect or Agility Tool. This test gets plus one difficulty for each clue on the private lobby. If you see choose a weapon asset beneath the private lobby and place that card into the owner's hand. If you succeed by two or more, you may choose an additional card and place it in their owner's hand. But as we don't have any cards underneath here, we can ignore that. Then we have Ernie Vickers Action Parley. Gain five resources and record in your camera log that you, your investigator took out alone to meet once per game. So I'm thinking we don't want to do that if we can avoid it. But yeah, that's basically everything. We have the auction deck here, the encounter deck there, and everything is set. So without further delay, let's get started. Okay, we are ready to begin. So let's draw an opening hand. One, two, three, four, five. I think we again want some clue tech to go. That we can reshuffle. Okay, end of the road. Not good at the start. Um, yeah, I think we need resources, so burning the midnight oil sounds good. Winging it sounds good, and shed a light sounds decent. But. Uh, inquiring mind, okay, shed a light, burning the midnight oil, winging it. Mm, I'll, I'll risk it and not. Uh, draw anything else, so we'll get fine clothes. I think that will be a good good card in this. Hoping to have some parlays we need to pass, and fine clothes is seems like a good card at an auction. Okay, so shuffling up our deck, and we'll get going. So, first action. I think I will just uh, play burning. No, first action. I will play the fine clothes. Second action. I'll investigate using the burning and midnight oil. So we gain two resources. We are investigating five versus two. Minus three. So we pass and we grab the two. Last action. I think I'll go into the display room. See what's there. Oh boy. Display room. Six shroud, one clue. Uh, victory one. A faster trigger ability during your turn. Choose and discard a card from your hand. Display room gets minus one. Minus X shroud until the end of the, your turn, where X is the cost of the discarded card. Win it once per turn. Okay, well, um, I think we can manage with Inquiry Mind, but we'll see. But that is our turn, no enemies will cause upkeep. We draw, research notes, gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom. Encounter card is Bidding War. I'm just checking when we get this card. If there is force, if there is no auction next. Okay, I think we need needed to do this last round. So we have the auction deck, and we drew one card to be the auction. Room. So we have um, Ming Dynasty base fourth. When the current agenda would advance, and this card is in next to the agenda deck. Remove all Doom from play and play, uh, resolve whichever of the following is true. Uh, if there are fewer than four resources per player on this card, the investigators do not win this, the auction. Remove this card from the game. If there are four more resources on this card, the investigators win the auction. The investigators as a group must pay resources equal to the amount of resources on this card. If you cannot remove the, this card from the game and each investigator takes two damage, otherwise Remove all resources from this card and choose an investigator to take control of it. Okay. So, we have the bidding war going on. Bidding war. Uh, if you if it is agenda 2, it is not. Uh, the bidding war would gain search. Otherwise, put bidding war into play next to the agenda deck. Fourth, when you activate the fast trigger ability on auction board, just Will power three. If you fail, place two additional resources on the 
third auction, auction lot. If you fail by two or more, take one horror. When you succeed or fail, discard bidding war. I think that vase is just not worth any action, so we'll just ignore that. Okay. Well, uh, first action, we'll put down with a search note. And actually, we'll put one card here. So first action, uh, second action, we'll use Inquiry Mind to investigate here. Eight versus six. Yeah. Zero, we grab this clue. And we still need two more clues, so last action will move to the auction hall. It is a three shot location with two clues. Uh, action, if there is an auction lot asset next to the agent deck, you bid on the current action lot, place one or more resources on the auction lot asset next to the agenda deck from the token bank. So we need these clues to advance. So we'll get them next round. But that is that round for us. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw another winging it. We gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay. Uh, we add a dune. Encounter card is courteous competitor. Revelation. If it is agenda 2, con wait. Vacious competitor against search it. Otherwise, put it in the play next to the agenda deck. Force after you activate the ability on action hole, take one damage. Action parlay test. Uh, willpower or combat four. You may spend any amount of resources to get plus one skill value for each resource spent. If you succeed, discard courteous competitor. If you control an auction lot asset, you may remove it from the game to automatically succeed. And actually, last round, we got this clue, so we actually got one evidence on Daryl's Kodak. Which we forgot to do. So this gets a card. Hmm. I'll go check out what's in the smoking lounge. Okay, well... There's a parlay test, uh, intellect 7 or willpower 7, you get plus x skill value for this test where x is the cost of the item as it got probably the highest cost. If you succeed, gain a clue. Doesn't help us, so I'll just head back here. I will... Uh, play winging it. And investigate. I'm investigating uh, five versus two. Minus one. We succeed. We grab one clue. And that is our turn. And we get an evidence. Okay. That is no enemies, so we'll go to upkeep, we draw the zero version of uh, Dr. William T. Mailson and get a resource, so that is that round, let's go to the next round. We had a doom, so the agenda advances. Okay. So, forced. Uh, when the current agenda would advance and this card is next to the agenda deck, remove all Doom from play and resolve the whichever of these followings is true. So, we have uh, four or fewer resources, so the investigators do not in the auction to remove this card from the game. Then uh, we get a new auction, which is uh, Antique Clock. When the current agenda would advance, this card would this. And this card is next to the agenda deck. Remove all from play and re 
solve whichever of the problems is true. So if there are two or fewer plus two resources per player, so it should be four. Ten minutes together should not win the rock to remove this card plus again. If there are two uh, resources per player plus two, we win it and so forth. Okay, I think we need to win one of these and maybe get rid of these, but we'll see. So, uh, we'll get an income card. Keeping tabs. If it is agenda 2, keep keeping tabs can search, otherwise put it to play next to the agenda deck. After an investigator activates the action ability and option on this card, one copy of keeping tabs at the end of the round. If the investigators did not activate the ability, it's investigator takes one damage and places one of the clues on the location. So I'm actually getting buried with these stupid cards, but I'll put one here. Okay, we will first investigate. At least we are getting evidence. I'm investigating five versus. No, I'll put, put play uh, William T. Nelson. Then I will investigate five versus three minus two. That's good enough. We we'll grab this clue. We'll grab this evidence, and I will advance. So uh, someone else's problem. As you mingle with the other socialites and criminals, it quickly becomes apparent that the auction has a lot going on beneath the surface. Mixed into the crowds are several dark figures that keep uh, trying to corn corner and eliminate you, and you're not even sure if they're with the Obanians or not. However, between the act action, you are able to observe yet another out-of-place figure. Tips from the patrons help you identify a member of Sheldon gang one of the Obanion's rivals, casing the auctioners. You pass this tip to the Obanion sentries who advance into the crowd, leaving you free access to the back room. Uh, duty is one thing, but bad blood is another. Reveal service corridor and put the set aside st storage vault location in play. So we get the storage vault here. This is revealed. And this is connected over here. So the service corridor <coughs> is a forced route location with zero clues forced at the end of the round. Each investigator the service corridor with an encounter card in his or her hand. Take one or And ill-gotten gains. You've got to make the most of your time before the Obanion starts and their security once more. If the stolen artifacts are anywhere on the premises, then there's only one place to move. Objective, if storage vault is revealed and there are no clues on it, advance. Okay, so I'm thinking there are clues in the storage vault, so... Mm, I think... Well, this we need to get rid of, because at the end of the round, if investigators did not activate the ability, each investigator takes one damage and plays one of the clues on the location. So we don't have any clues. Because we spent them. But we are taking damage. So, uh, I will... Act, as a last action, activate this ability here. So the ability reads, again, if there is an auction lot asset next to the agenda deck, you bid on the current lot, place one of your resources on the auction lot asset next to the agenda deck from the token bank. And because there is a bidding war, when you activate the ability test willpower 3, Uh, actually, we succeed. Plus one. Place one evidence on an asset you control. Well, that, that was super lucky. And I'm actually placing one here. So, we place uh, one here. Uh, 
And whether you succeed or fail, discard bidding war. So that goes away. That's great. Then, uh, then we discard this. So we only have that one stupid card there. Okay. And uh, we'll actually, let's see, we take one damage. So we should have done this parlay first. So I'm, uh, uh, let's see, what did I do this round? So investigate, a play, investigate, and last action. I'll do the parlay, so we get plus two from fine clouds, so we are four versus four. I will spend one evidence. So this actually drops to zero if I spend one evidence, so I'm not spending any resources. I'm just getting rid of this parlay. And all the fail. Well, of course it is. Okay, well, we'll try again next round. Okay, well, no enemies will go to upkeep. We draw ruined film. Okay, there goes our evidence. And we will actually take one horror and gain a resource. So, ruined film, ruining our bidding wars here, but it is what it is. So. Yeah, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom. Encounter card of this round is... Delusional Dreamer. 3 fight a combat, uh, 2 health and 3 evade. Hunter, spawn, engage with prey. Prey is investigated with the most encounter cards in his or her hand. Force when after a Delusional Dreamer engages you, take 1 damage or 1 horror for each encounter card in your hand. We don't have any luckily so it just engages us but we need to figure out how to get rid of this guy so um, let's see what we can do here so I'm doing the parlay tests on this card as a first action and we have the fine close so we are testing uh, Two versus two. Oh yeah, this guy gets uh, this. Hmm. Well, just try the parlay. I will evade this guy. Just figuring out how uh, can I put more than one? Okay, so I could have put one or more. So I'm, uh, last round I put four because I misread the card, so I, we do not need to care about that anymore. Uh, we'll just try to evade this guy, and I'm committing this. So we are four versus three. So four versus three. Cultist. Uh, let's see what the cultist does. So it is a minus one if you fail lose or a resource for each point you fail by. So we succeed. So this guy is evaded. I'll just put it over here. Okay. We'll move here and we'll move into the storage vault. 
Storage vaults. Uh, three shroud, three clues. Non-Euclidean lose one resource or discard a card from your hand. At random, you must choose one. Forced. After you discover any amount of clues from storage vault and you did not succeed and you did not succeed at investigating by one or more, including discovering clues without investigating, move to a location. Hoping to succeed by enough. So we get, need to get these clues to advance. Okay. That is our turn. No enemy actions will cover upkeep. This guy readies. We draw a card. End of the road. We gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Encounter card for this round is. Uh, Arcade Evils, Peril Revelation, put the top three cards of your deck, uh, reveal the top three cards of your deck. You must either choose one, draw each weakness revealed, and remove each other revealed card from the game. Shuffle each revealed card back into your deck, place one room on the current agenda. This may cause the agenda to advance, so that is not bad. Okay, so we shuffle these back. No weaknesses. And we add one doom, so the agenda advances. Okay, we shuffle. Then uh, we take control of this by uh, paying four. This is just, uh, we now have it. We can just ignore that now. So we get another auction card. So auction lot uh, ceremonial weapon. So we need one plus two clues. So three clue uh, uh, resources on this to win it. But I think we just ignore it now. Okay. And, uh, and yeah, that was the encounter card. So we can start investigating. So first, I will play winging it to investigate five versus two here. Elder sign will place one onto research notes, and we succeed by enough. We don't have to move anywhere. We'll grab one clue. We'll play uh, winging it from our discard pile. Five versus two. We succeed by one or more. We'll grab these two. This shuffles back into our deck. Oh yeah, this guy has hunter, so it will move to the service corridor next uh, this round. This guy. Okay, so we advance. The Warped Idol. <clears throat> you search through the auction storage grows steadily more frustrating. Actual tons of artifacts are nowhere, uh, nowhere to be found, and you keep grabbing with some strange force that threaten to threatens to eject you from the storage room entirely. As you move to lift another crate, a small bar. A bundle slides off and drops to the ground. Your, your eye catches the word Mucany st stamped across the paper and you immediately seize and unwrap it. Beneath the waxed paper is a curious stone object about the size of a bottle, carved into an unrecognizable shape. The, figuri the figurine pro proves difficult to hold as, it is, as its contours do not match up to what you see before you. You don't have much time to examine the object before the sounds of echoing footsteps brings you back to the present. There will be time for study later, and there are more unanswered questions to consider. Choose an investigator to take control to set aside warped idol for the remainder of the scenario. This asset does not take up any slots. Add a remainder of the scenario. This asset does not take up any slots. Add one 
tablet token to the chaos pack for the Nether campaign spawned the set aside for Banyan Sentry at Service Corridor, put the set aside for Curse Office into play. So this guy spawns. in here then we get uh, brokers just moving this over here to make some room so we get the brokers office the investigators cannot enter the brokers office but the opinion sentry is a ball Fight to health to evade humanoid criminal beat alert. Opinion sentry gets plus one health per investigators of three health forced after you defeat Opinion sentry reveal broker's office. After you evade Opinion sentry by two or more reveal broker's office for the remainder of the scenario. Opinion sentry gains hunter. So that is only after. And we add one tablet token to the bag, and the tablet is a minus. Two minus four is there if there are no resources on an action lot card in play. Then, pursuit of reason, the bizarre idol is proof enough of the companion's theft of the cargo, but the rest of the other ones have vanished, and you still don't know why the gangsters hijacked the shipment in the first place. You may be able to find answers with the auction broker who handles all the transactions, but you must also consider your safe retreat with the idol in hand. Objective if an each undefeated investigator has resigned advance. <coughs> so <coughs> we basically have uh, an option to go to the broker's office or just book it and run to the private lobby and resign. But we will see. I'm actually a bit. Uh, where did I leave my turn? Yeah, that that was the last action, I think. Yeah. Okay, so enemy actions. This guy hunts over here. Upkeep. We haven't done so we draw inquiry in mind may help us and we gain a resource okay well that is that round let's go to the next round we add a doom and count the card for this round is uh, it is another delusion or dreamer so it spawns on us And uh, we will just try to evade this guy. Um, hmm. I think I don't want another enemy. I will exhaust Dr. Mailson. Drop one of my clues, we can just re grab it and we will put one evidence on to this one. Shuffle this back into the encounter deck and draw something else. Okay, and we draw auction security. Well, it's easier easier to evade. Okay, so four, five, uh, three health and two evade. Humanoid, criminal, prey, most resources. Hunter, aloof. Okay, so it uh, is aloof, so we can just run away from it. Fourth, after the hunter, enemy moves. Step. Of the enemy phase if there are no resources on an auction lot asset and auction security is unengaged if auction security engages an investigator at its location according to the prey okay well um, uh, 
uh, first action, we'll grab this clue from here. Uh, we are investigating five versus... Hmm. Five versus two. Uh, I mean, five versus three. And skulls or axe is the number of auction cards in here. Well, we fail because it it, it is minus four minus the cards in the de deck, so it is uh, minus three. Hmm. I'll try again. Five versus three minus two, we succeed. We'll move last action here. This engage me, which is not good. And enemy face, we get one damage and one horror. So one horror goes here. I'll take one damage here, one damage here. Uh, this guy hunts here, but is aloof. We'll go upkeep, we draw track shoes and gain a resource. That is that round. I'm just double checking this guy. Okay, there are no resources here, so this guy also engages us, hits us, so not looking good. I think we will have to bail out. But it is what it is, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom, encounter card is... Another courteous competitor. Well, I think it's too big of a hassle to try to deal with all of these enemies, so we will probably do evade, evade, and move and take an attack of opportunity from the dreamer. We have plenty of horror left. So we will evade. I'm using one evidence to make the skill test, minus two, so we are evading the Obanion sentry first. Oh, actually, it is a minus one, so we uh, pass by two or more, so we reveal Broker's Office. Force route one clue, force. After you reveal Broker's Office, put the set aside no Nora. Shanely in plane at the progress office force at the end of the enemy phase if there is at least one investigated progress or report, move each and engage enemy one location towards progress office. Um, I think we will still opt to run away. Okay, second action we'll do another evade on this guy. Oh yeah, we get the uh, Obanion Broker here, so Nora Shanley, Action Parlay, you try to convince the Broker to give you information you need. Okay, we could go in there and try to speak to her next round. Okay, back up. So, we have a Parlay, you try to convince the Broker to give you the information you need to test Willpower or Intellect 4, if you succeed, place one clue on Nora Shanley. If there are at least one clue on Nora Shanley, advance the current act. Okay, we'll ignore the uh, clue there. If we first pass this test. So, minus one, we evade this guy. So both of these thugs are evaded. And last action, we'll take an attack of opportunity and move here. Then it hits us for another horror, but we don't care. We have plenty of horrors out left. Uh, no enemy actions, we'll go to upkeep. We draw burning the midnight oil. 
gain a resource. Just double checking. If you control an auction, okay. So after you activate the ability, take on damage. So th these won't do anything at the moment, so that's good. We just ignore them. Okay, well that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, um, we add a doom, so the agenda advances. This goes away. We have this auction lot. Uh, it is uh, pearl necklace, jewelry set, so we need two resources to grab that, but we just ignore that. And counter card for this round is <coughs> Kratos Hallucination, so goes into our hand. We ignore that. First, we will do an investigate here. And I am using winging it from my discard. We'll take one attack of opportunity. Don't really care. And I'll commit burning the middle night oil to this test. So six versus three. Six versus three. Uh, no. I will save that for the parlay. Minus one. We grab this clue. Then uh, we will do the parlay. Oh yeah, we get this. So we'll do the parlay. I will use this, and I have the fine clothes. So yeah, I don't even need the uh, inquiry in mind. And there are no clues on here, so I should have used the inquiry in mind, but I didn't. Okay, we are doing the parlay. So uh, 5 versus 0, it is a minus 4, but we succeed. So we place one clue here, which means if there are at least one clue per investigator, Nora Shanley advance the current act. Close the deal. If there are one clues on Nora Stanley, uh, after minutes of pleading and badgering the woman, let's out an exaggerated exhale of smoke. All right, all right, fine. I've seen a lot of stupid people mess with the Obanians before, but this has got to take the cake. I can, I want to hear your reason for all of this, and it had better be a good one for resolution too. Okay, resolution two. You try to explain to the broker the nature of your investigation with a few details as possible, but she scrutinizes each word until you, your purpose at the auction is clear. You uh, begrudgingly tell Miss Shanley about your brief investigator of the riverfront before arriving at the auction, which causes a bus bustling shift in her expression. She sits in uh, quiet thought for a moment before casting her Steely gaze back at, up at you. No, your story isn't credible. Wycliffe wouldn't have sent you to the river in the first place. You press Miss Shanley on how she knows what Wycliffe would do and show her the document from Wycliffe as proof of your story. Her confusion deepens as she appraises the paper and she leans back into her chair for another drag of her cigarette. The woman scrutinizes your face once more uh, as she exhales before replying. What I'm about to tell you do, does not leave this room, am I understood? You nod curtly, though Miss Shanley takes her time before responding again. Whitecliffe is the main man who hired us to take the artifacts in the first place. Here, the broker opens her desk and pulls out a check for a suitable sum, which Whitecliffe's signature clearly printed at the bot bottom, a perfect match for the one you, on your letter. Miss Shanley allows you to view the check for a few seconds before she returns into her desk and stands stiffly. If you want any further information, I suggest you ask likely directly. I have enough to worry about with this back backward deal adding to it, and I suggest you leave before you give security any extra reasons to ice you. In your 
Campanlock recalled the investigators, interviewed the broker, add one cultist token to the chaos pack for the remainder of the campaign, skip to resolution 4. Resolution 4. You visit. Your visit to the auction may have been in part frustrating, but you managed to lay claim to some hard evidence at last. You are still learning how best to handle the statuette, as its construction is utterly alien. You are... Your Unsure if any human hand could have carved such a thing, or if it even originates on Earth at all. The one thing you are sure is that the world seems to be bent slightly around the stone, and something like that is better kept in your hands than the enemies. <coughs> any one investigator may choose to add warped idol to his or her deck. This card does not count toward the investigator's deck size, and we actually forgot to put this into play, so. Warp Idol is a two-cost asset, uh, takes up an uh, accessory slot, uh, item relic are called Increase the modifier of each um, tablet token revealed at your location by one example, minus one becomes minus two. When you would move from a location, exhaust Warped Idol, this movement ignores all attacks of opportunity and effects of scenario cards that would trigger from that movement. So we actually had that in play, but I forgot to put it into play, and well, it doesn't, it, didn't, it, it actually would have prevent one attack of opportunity. Okay, well, uh, resolution 5. Uh, oh yeah, and we mark one notice in your uh, campaign log. Resolution 5. Recent events may have brought you closer to the truth, but your enemy still managed to repossess the vast majority of the Mike. Canian stone before you even arrived. They vanished as quickly as they appeared, which would have left you with a cold trail were it not for the revelation about Pycliffe. The time has come to dispel the air of conspiracy that has saturated your investigation pro from the ver very start. You set off for Pycliffe's estate without delay. For each auction locked asset the investigators control at the end of the scenario, choose one. In your camp lock, cross of one entry where an investigator took out the loan, remove that auction lot from the game, move that auction lot to the victory display. Okay, so this goes to the victory display. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory axe value of each card in the victory display. If there are three or more auction lot assets in the victory display, each investigator earns one bonus experience. If the investigators did not win any auction uh, lot assets at the all during the scenario, each investigator earns two bonus experience. Well, we didn't earn two bonus experience. If any investigator earned three or more experience during this scenario, mark one notice in your campaign log. If any investigator earned six or more experience during this scenario, mark one additional notice in your campaign log. So, again, uh, let's see. We got two, three, four, five experience. So we add a total of two notices in our campaign, which is okay. I think five is a good ex uh, experience count for this scenario. So, next up, uh, we proceed to scenario three, private lives. So, that was the second scenario in the Cyclopean Foundation's fan-made campaign by The Beard. Hope you guys like this playthrough and look forward to the next one. So thanks for watching and until next time.